Plug love, what you mean, plug love? Plug love, what you mean, plug love? Hello, and welcome back to HWLRadio.com. You're here with your main man, Hollywood. And today we got Vin Diesel and Total Shock after Fast and Furious 9 stunt double plunges 30 feet to the ground in horrific accident. And here goes the story. A Fast and Furious stuntman was airlifted to the hospital yesterday after a 30-foot plunge in front of film stars Vin Diesel. It is feared a safety cable snapped as the man leaped off a balcony on set and he suffered serious head injuries as he hit the ground below. Diesel 52 was said to be in total shock after the incident at Warner Brothers Studio in Leviston Hearts. Filming was halted immediately and cast and crew sent home fearing the worst as the stuntman was rushed to Royal London Hospital. A source said the stuntman fell at least 30 feet, maybe a bit more. Vin Diesel was seen on set seconds after. He looked ashen, totally in shock, and blinking back tears. He saw what happened. The unnamed man, who was said to be acting out Diesel's role on Fast and Furious 9, fell around noon yesterday. Police confirmed they attended and are carrying out inquiries. The source said they were filming a very high balcony scene. The stuntman leaped from the balcony attached to a safety wire, but it looks like the cable snapped. He was meant to be left dangling below the balcony via the wire and then lowered slowly to the ground, but he plunged to the ground and landed on his head. Damn. There were gasps and screams when the poor guy hit the floor. It's horrific and obviously all caught on camera. This was handed to the police. It happened on a brand new set at the studio. Everything has now been closed on set and filming stopped. It's a crime scene. Diesel has had several brushes with tragedy in the past. His stunt double Harry O'Connor was killed filming a parasailing scene for a 2002 action flick Triple X. And his Fast and Furious co-star Paul Walker died age 40 in a car crash all set during filming of the franchise 7th film in 2013. The Sun has contacted Warner Brothers Studio for comment. Fast and Furious 9 is due out next year and also stars Michelle Rodriguez, Helen Mirren, Charlize Theron, and series newcomer John Cena. So, maybe The Rock did himself a favor by just leaving that alone. And I'm starting to think they just need to leave the Fast and Furious whole series alone. Somebody done cursed that shit. Like, I ain't seen that many damn deaths in Hollywood. Like, when we was younger, the death we only had of Hollywood was Bruce Lee and when they put the real bullet in there. And everybody's saying that that was, that was set up to happen. So are all these been set up to happen? That's why I'm glad it's an investigation. But at the same damn time, maybe I just need to leave this shit alone. Maybe I need to leave the Fast and Furious alone. Matter of fact, y'all got clones. Y'all making all these clones and shit. Just make a clone stunt. Or is that too much? Is that too much in the budget? for a clone stunt double. But that's going to be it for today, so make sure you go over to hwlradio.com, download the radio station app. If you don't want to do that, search us on Alexa Skill app, hwlradio.com, and enable it, and bam, you have the radio station on demand. And I'm out.